Y la reina, por supuesto, elegía en la corte talentos, bailarines, escritores, muy famosos. Muchos todavía se proyectan en los grandes teatros hoy, como un Molière. Pero por el otro lado, la belleza y el talento de una pintora le atrajo. Y fue quien se convierte en la gran retratista, Villet Lebrun. Y fue el punto culminante de la venta de la noche de los grandes maestros de esta temporada. 7 millones 200 mil dólares en un remate en Sotheby's. Este documental también nos permite descubrir una pionera en la historia del arte que tuvo que confrontar los prejuicios también de su tiempo para imponerse como artista, como mujer y como belleza en la corte. Vijay Lebrun was a remarkable painter and woman in her time, perhaps one of the most successful female artists of the 18th century. She worked with the court at Versailles and was the primary painter to Marie Antoinette, which was something that brought her a lot of fame and recognition and connections. Because of that, she's someone who is very well known even to us today. Vijay Lebrun met Marie Antoinette when she was just starting out her career. After an initial portrait was received with great success, she then continued to paint the Queen over and over. And actually in Vijay's memoirs, there are amazing stories of the two of them singing songs together during the sittings. I'm so excited about this painting by Vijay Lebrun of Muhammad Dervish Khan. It is fascinating and fantastic and just says so much about the moment that it was painted in, about the East and the West, about men and women. It's really something that I'm thrilled to be able to handle. The painting was done in the summer of 1788, which was pretty much exactly a year before the storming of the Bastille, and the political unrest was sort of boiling in France at that point. Vijay Lebrun, by then, was quite a famous artist in Paris. That summer, Mohammed Dervish Khan was sent from India by Tipu Sultan, leader of Mysore, and he had a specific agenda, along with two other ambassadors, to try to engage Louis XVI and France to help them drive England out of India. Vijay Lebrun actually was at the opera when she first spotted the individuals, and she writes about this in her memoirs, how beautiful and amazing they were that she was just completely enraptured and had to paint them. Now, of course, the idea of her painting them was a little bit of a stretch. They were Muslim men who would not normally have wanted to be represented pictorially, and probably not by a female artist either. So ultimately, the king arranged for the sitting to take place, and the ambassadors agreed. The painting has amazing force and potency in it. It is something that sort of knocks you aback when you see it. It's life-size. He is grand, he is imposing, and it is absolutely ravishing in the way that she has depicted the details of his costume in particular, or the engravings on his sword. I mean, it's really remarkable. It is very rare for female artists to have become successful painters in the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries. Women were not allowed to be part of artist guilds, they were not allowed to attend life drawing classes, so it really was not set up at all for them to succeed. What I think is so amazing about the circumstances of this portrait and imagining her sitting there painting him is this sort of mutual exoticism of the two of them. Him being this powerful Indian man in these very different clothes and her being a female artist who got to the point where the king insisted on a sitting. It's really quite remarkable.